It's Future of Honor Friday. My name is Joe Dombrowski. Thank you once again for joining us on ROHWrestling.com, ROH social media. Tag action on tap. Let's send it to Nick Lendl for the introduction. This contest is a tag team match scheduled for one fall. Introducing team number one, being accompanied by Jared Silberkleit. At a combined weight of 413 pounds, the team of number one, Brian Johnson and Joe Keys. Coming your way from Baltimore, Maryland, with tag team competition, Brian Johnson and Joe Keys are no strangers to Future of Honor, but they have a uh, new addition to their squadron in the form of Jared Silverclight. I understand he's got a lot of trust money to play with, and he's found what he considers to be some can't-miss clients in his scouting. We'll see if uh, Jared Silverclight is the extra piece of the puzzle to bring these gentlemen to the next level, but they'll have a tough test this week as we go back to Nick Lendl to meet the opponents. And their opponents, at a combined weight of 407 pounds, the team of Vinny, the Kid Pacifico, and the last Incan warrior, Ryo. Now, Ryo and Vinny Pacifico are all about pure guts and true grit. They uh, are often overlooked, they're often undervalued, but they rise to the occasion and they've picked up some unexpected victories in Future of Honor. You see that energy, you see that motto on the back of the trunks, don't count Vinny out. Ryo, the last Incan warrior, certainly he has uh, roots in fighting uh, throughout his bloodline. Good evening, what, the Baltimore! The name is Jared Silberkleit! And I'm the man with a lucrative trust fund. Tonight, I'm ready to give Brian Johnson and Joe Keys the biggest payday of their careers if, if they fulfill the trust fund's mission to exterminate these middle classers from Ring of Honor. The terms are simple, boys. You hold up your end, I'll hold up mine. You'll be rich, and we will show ROH why we are trust fund approved. <laughs> well, that was about an 11 on the obnoxious meter by Mr. Silver Clight, but be that as it may, Joe Keys, uh, no stranger to money in his own right, Brian Johnson. Feels that uh, now he's already worth a couple of million dollars. Self-proclaimed top seed in the as of yet non-existent 2019 Top Prospect Tournament as Joe Keys and Vinny Pacifico start out, but Keys quickly bringing in Brian Johnson. Uh, Jared Silverclight referring to Vinny and Ryo quite condescendingly as quote middle classers and. I don't think uh, Vinny or Ryo take that as a derogatory comment. They have uh, worked and earned everything they have attained in professional wrestling and in life. No handouts, no top 1%, no trust funds, no being handed anything. Ryo and Pacifico have that working class spirit as last Incan warrior Ryo now tagged in Pick it up right where Vinny left off, working on the left arm of Brian Johnson. Great cohesion, great frequent tags by this duo thus far. They get better and better every time we see them, but Brian Johnson's ring savvy certainly can't be understated as well. The master of the baby doll blitz taking over on one of the smallest members of Future of Honor, but check out the way Vinny snapped off that Hurricane Rod, a tremendous torque and a deep arm drag. Neutralizes Johnson for the moment. 
And back to tag in Raya once again, the last Incan warrior fighting for his ancestors. Huge <laughs> double back body drop for Brian Johnson. And Joe Key's much the same. I know Joe Key's, uh, he's inherited a penny or two in his own right. He's got uh, some expensive properties uh, that he frequents and would love to have a celebration in one of them. Following this contest, Ryo gets hung up on the top rope and Brian Johnson, that neck breaker connects flush, but a near fall, says referee Paul Turner. Johnson showing some frustration. as a great one-two punch from Keyes and Johnson. And now Johnson follows that up quite literally. Fist between the eyes as well. Two count only, the self-proclaimed Rolls Royce of wrestling. He may literally get a Rolls Royce if uh, Jared Silverclight is happy with this uh, endeavor. But how does Silverclight feel about the pose? Will it get a fall? Two count only. Johnson, you want to talk about obnoxious and enamored with oneself, Brian Johnson. And his, his damn pose, oh, Joe Keys. Able to practically knock the wind out of Ryo, the follow through snap suplex. Textbook like execution. And Joe Keys, another athlete, and it sounds like we're we're being a broken record here, so to speak, but, but Joe Keys, another one of those athletes that gets better every time out, but. That's the mantra of future Vonner. We have found uh, some diamonds in the rough here, some rapidly developing talents that you're watching them grow right before your eyes, and and their best is, is yet to come right on the backslide. Two count only. Uh, so that's what makes for such a competitive nature of future Vonner here each and every week. Johnson and Keyes attempting a double team. Oh, Ryo out of the way! Keyes hit Ark and Ryo desperately! Reaching, inching for the tag, but couldn't get there. Johnson, the inverted atomic drop. A shot for Vinny Pacifico. And now, oh, the poop kick and Jared Silverclight got it! And the quote unquote middle classers outsmarting the room. Ryo creates an opening, crawling to Vinny Joe Keys. Wait a minute, Ryo the roll up. Ryo beats him out of nowhere. Here are your winners, the team of Vinny Pacifico and Ryo. Joe Keys was going to cut off Ryo's path to Vinny. Vinny caught him. Ryo from behind with a roll up and Joe Keys got pinned when he least expected it. Jared Silverclay will have to cry back to his father. That trust fund money did not pay off, and he just paid for it. That's it for Future Honor. We'll see you next time.